Hello, today we have Mark White, CEO of Nexelin Technology, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker NXL. Mark, welcome back. Good to see you, Craig. Now, Mark, for those who may not be familiar with Nexelin, please start by giving us an overview of what your company does and what sets you apart, especially in the field of mental health and neurostimulation technology. Wait, well, okay, so first of all, you, you, you touched on it, mental health. Everybody knows somebody struggling with some type of a mental health issue whether it's our children with attention issues, whether it's our parents with Alzheimer's dementia, whether it's us, our friends studying with anxiety, depression, insomnia, we've got addiction, we've got military personnel struggling with traumatic brain injury and suicide. Basically, the problem is we have a global mental health epidemic. Currently, as everybody is well aware, the standard of care is medication. Now, there's a time and a place for medication, but it's not all the time, every time. There, there are issues that everybody is well aware of with medication called side effects, risk, dependency, perhaps most importantly, lack of response, or in other words, only about 40% of the population that takes medication actually gets the true benefits it was originally designed for without the side effects and the risk. And what Nexelin is doing is using a as you, the words you gave us was neurostimulation. So your brain is full of billions of neurons. That's how it works. And what we are in the business of doing is stimulating those neurons with its language, which is frequencies, so that we can literally promote or evoke a response in the brain towards health and wellness, non-invasively, without any detectable feelings, no discomfort, no risk, no side effects, and perhaps most importantly, you can do it in the privacy of your own home without going to the psychiatrist's office because our technology is FDA cleared. It is a medical technology, but it is prescribed and monitored through a digital virtual clinic. So just imagine telehealth, teledoc, telepsychiatry, imagine that on steroids and what we call the Nexlin Virtual Clinic. We believe that Nexlin is the future of mental health treatment in all the areas that I just mentioned. And we've been able to step out of the clinical psychiatric model and step into the privacy of your residence and offer a safe and effective treatment that 90% of the time will resolve your issues with all the areas of mental health challenges I mentioned. Now, Mark, your recent clinical trials on major depressive disorder, they showed significant improvements when using Nexelink's technology in combination with antidepressants. Now, share with us more about those trial results and what it could mean for the treatment of depression. So basically, let the consumer decide, do you want to take medication or not? And what Nexelink did is we performed a clinical trial. We put 70 patients into a group all 70 took Lexapro, half got Nexlin, half got sham treatment, a, a not an active treatment, fake treatment. The active group not only responded in two weeks instead of six weeks, but instead of responding at 40%, 35%, they, the response was close to 60%. So we almost doubled the response in a positive way with the patients, and we decreased the patient response time from six weeks to two weeks. So now you can decide, I want to go drug free. I want to reduce my dosage, reduce my side effects and do Nexlin and the medication, your choice. You have seen some very important countries approve your technology, among them China and Brazil. Talk about the significance of those approvals and what does it mean for the global expansion of Nexlin? That's right, so it's a global strategy. While we're developing our FDA clinical trials working in the United States, we started overseas, started in China. We cleared for depression and insomnia. We'll start distributing in 2025. We also then went into the South America model. We started in Brazil and we'll start to work into the other countries in South America. We also produced that same type of model in the Middle East where we started in Oman and we'll now start stepping into Bahrain, UAE, Saudi Arabia, et cetera. That way we're running literally because this is a global mental health epidemic. We're running a global model while we develop the United States and Europe as our two 
uh, primary markets. Speaking of the U.S., you're working here with the FDA toward clearance of your virtual opioid treatment model, Mark. Share with us the progress in this area and tell us about the potential impact on the opioid crisis. All right. Quickly, addiction is a brain-based disease. We all agree on that. Currently, when you go to treatment or you go to a recovery house, the only thing you do is sleep and eat and talk. There's no actual treatment for the brain. What Nexlin is doing is using a brain-based treatment to restore the health of the brain before the addiction came into place. And because of the fact that all of our technology can now be prescribed and monitored through a digital virtual clinic, you no longer have to go away to treatment. You can actually be part of a virtual medication assisted program. And we're working with some collaborators to take the treatment out of the hospital and put it in the privacy of your home so you can continue to work you can continue to receive treatment in the privacy of your home, but most importantly, you're getting brain-based treatments instead of talk therapy. Mark, every time you and I talk, including now, you and I talk about the global mental health epidemic. Obviously, the global mental health treatment market is growing rapidly. Projections are in the billions over the next decade. Talked about it before, but I just wanna hear more, and I think our viewers do too. How do you plan to capitalize on the market opportunity and what should investors know about your strategy? Okay, when we talk about a global strategy, first of all, we're not gonna to try to run our global marketing distribution out of one office in the United States. More specifically, what we do is we identify partners in these respective countries and respective governments that are familiar with their society, familiar with their healthcare, familiar with their payers, so that they can actually take our technology and work in partnership with us. So we're partners, not, not manufacturer distributor. That's where you get into trouble. If you work in a partnership model, you can actually go into these various countries and get your partners to strategize on regulatory strategies, distribution strategies, treatment strategies, et cetera. And this way, we don't need to be an expert in every market we go into. In fact, quite the opposite. We partner with experts in the respective countries, respected governments, respected medical communities. That's the model in short. Wrapping up now, Mark, in a nutshell, why should an investor take an interest in Nexlin right now? The, the future of mental health treatment is not medication. We all know there are problems. We could go on for 30 minutes. We know that the future of mental health and other types of health issues is going to be digital medicine. The future of mental health treatment is the ability to treat the brain in a non-invasive, safe and effective way without any risk side effects. And the most important part of that is close to 90% and our data shows in published clinical trials between 75 and 90% positive response for the reduction of the primary mood disorders. So when we talk about what's the opportunity, we're talking about the future of the mental health treatment model. We're talking about a proprietary technique that's been patented and is, has 32 patents in the pipeline. This is the future, get on board. Thanks for the update, Mark. Have a great day.